On November 11, 1921, an estimated 100,000 people gathered at Arlington Cemetery in Virginia for a ceremony honoring the unknown soldier of World War I. The U.S. Army Signal Corps created a silent film documenting the journey of the soldiers' remains from France to the U.S. Capitol Rotunda and its procession to Arlington through the streets of Washington, D.C. Uh, Allison uh, Finkelstein, what is, how did this whole concept of the unknown soldier being honored come about? Well, it really goes back to the beginning of the mechanization of warfare that you see expand during World War I. You get a lot more unidentifiable remains. Of course, you had a lot in the Civil War, but people really were struggling with the fact that they could not figure out who many of these casualties were. So Great Britain and France in 1920 buried an unknown soldier in each of their countries. In Great Britain, it was in Westminster Abbey, and in France, it was under the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. So the U.S. decided to do something similar to that. The idea was started by Representative Hamilton Fish of New York, who submitted legislation to bury an unknown soldier from the U.S. And I believe they're in chalon sur marne France right now. I've walked through those streets before, and uh, it's interesting to see, it, to me, you know, how many people turned out, um, the French civilians, not just the army, as we can see mostly in this scene, but French civilians showing their, you know, honor and patriotism towards uh, the Americans and really supporting the role the Americans played in helping liberate France. And now we're seeing the casket being carried on board an American ship? Yeah, it's a naval ship, the USS Olympic, which um, was famous during the Spanish-American War. In fact, it was Admiral Dewey's flagship that captured uh, Manila in 1898. So it's got a storied history. And there we actually see uh, the disembarkation mm -hmm. uh, at, at the Navy Yard in Washington, D.C. Here they are in the U.S. Capitol Rotunda, and that is the Lincoln Catafalque, which is a platform that was used to put President Lincoln's coffin. And importantly, that is the President of the United States, yeah. Warren Harding, mm -hmm. and Mrs. Harding laying the ribbon across the casket. Th that's correct. So they're representing, of course, the United States, and ultimately, um, not to jump ahead too much, but he will give the um, keynote speech. Now here the ca casket is being carried down the steps of the United States Capitol. That's a scene that modern Americans will be familiar with, with similar ceremonies in our time, and uh, put on the horse-drawn bier that will make its way over through the streets of Washington and over to Arlington Cemetery. Let's watch for just a minute. There's a really interesting, diverse group of people that participated in the parade. As you can see, there were military groups. Um, they formed a very prominent part of those participating. But also, you had a lot of veterans. You had female veterans as well, um, women who served or volunteered during the war. And there's obviously a reviewing stand in downtown Washington, D.C. And I believe those women are from the Army Nurse Corps. It's a little hard to tell. It's blurry. But as you can see, we have the representation of that, women. or maybe, maybe Salvation Army? They could be. Some of the uniforms look very similar until you can see their insignia. 